and welcome along and welcome back to uh, Hope Belleron. Today is the last day of February and we've got a few more bits and pieces to get done. Uh, mainly, we need to get our sunflower oil sold. So our two pallets of sunflower oil need selling today. Um, we've not got really any tomatoes. Uh, we've got a few bits of flour to get transported down to the bakery. So we're going to be doing those as well. And really just trying to get ourselves set up as best as we possibly can for seeding next month. Because March, uh, we're going to be getting the sunflowers planted in earnest. Uh, let's have a quick look in here. I think sunflowers... Yes, sunflowers we can plant in March. So we're looking at getting those in straight away next month and getting those sorted. Uh, as a result, I think what we'll probably be doing is, as we've done the last few videos, skipping through February during this one and getting everything done. Uh... And I think the way we'll do that is uh, we'll leave those tomatoes we've got there at the moment and get them to be produced and ready to go. Let's open the doors on this. There we go. Uh, get, get as much out of our greenhouses uh, over the next, uh, next couple of days as we can and then get them done. The price for sunflower oil at the moment is peaking. Uh, it is still going up. So we're going to load these in and we're going to see how much it's worth by the end. Um, but they are basically... Yeah, it's, it's, it's above top price at the moment. So I don't want to risk it too long by leaving those. So we're going to do that. Those are not on there great, but that's all right. We're going to get our worker to repack them in the truck like so oh yeah there we go so i'm liking that I'm, I'm i'm liking doing the manual loading still um but uh using the uh the truck to do it and we're offloading at the other side so it, it makes sense doing it this way really does right let's close that up and then we can go and run this quickly down to uh, the um, to the farm shop. Because, uh, yeah, we want to get some more money in and get ourselves set up. It looks like we're going to have enough to buy the cedar, which is going to be absolutely great. I think in the interests of making things easier to manage on here, we're probably going to switch our uh, greenhouse to doing just tomatoes we don't need any more strawberries out of it and we're doing lettuce over on the old stream farm so there doesn't really seem to be a lot of point in doing uh lettuce on here um and as we've got this fairly good transport system now i think uh, having the lettuce do uh, having it do tomatoes instead would do great uh 7410 wow that's a really good price for our sunflower oil. We're going to be doing sunflower oil, of course, uh, this year because we're doing sunflowers in our fields. We're not doing any uh, of... Uh, we're, not, we're not doing a uh, straw-producing crop. We're just going to do sunflowers this year to, to get a little bit of variation. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I think we'll go uh, we'll go back and we'll switch the production of our greenhouses to tomatoes uh, just to, to try and uh, make it easier for us to transport with this box it uh, attachment. So back down to the farm, bring it in and we're gonna load up the flour next, get that down to the bakery. Um, because we want to get that all sorted. In the meantime, I want to head over to here. And as I was saying, we want to get... Yeah, we've already turned the strawberries off. Uh, the lettuce... Oh, we've got 400 litres of lettuce in here. And I... I yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna deactivate it. I, I, we have 400 litres of lettuce we can't get out of here at the moment. Um, but putting this fully onto tomato production, I think, will benefit us. Um, are we actually out of flour? No, we're out of space for flour. 
So, yeah, that's the next thing we've got to do here. Is, uh, is wow. I think we're probably going to end up with a nice full trailer full of flour here now. Because uh, we are maxed out in flour in our windmill. But uh, we have a whole load of barley still to go. And this is the thing. This is why we're doing sunflowers next year and doing sunflower oil from here. Because we are just producing so much flour as to keep our bakery going for a very long time. Uh, we should be able to sort of skip doing barley or wheat or anything for a year. And then next year, just be able to switch back and again produce enough to keep the bakery going. So uh, it's quite a lot of flour we've got out of here for just two fields this year. Uh, and uh, and next year is uh, we're going to do the same, but with the sunflower oil, which we uh, we can sell on and, and make a decent amount of money from as well. We're almost full on the trailer. We may have one more set of boxes to do in here. I don't know. Yeah, it's got one more set to pile up. And we might get a little bit more. And it looks like we may have emptied the windmill as well. Because we've not had another pallet appear. So that's really good news. To be able to clear that out has been, uh, has been a good thing. And shows actually that our, uh, our box set is about the right size. In fact, is that going to take any more? I think we have got all of the boxes in there we can so not quite a full pallet sitting here let's just pop that down the other thing we need to look at today is the eggs and the chickens i want to make sure that they are fully fed and working someone did say did the eggs not finish off because the uh, the chickens hadn't been fed. No, I think I think there was enough feed in there for the chickens. Uh, I I think it's just a case of that they hadn't finished. I am kind of expecting though that we have a full pallet. I know we must have taken it. Oh yeah, we took the partial pallet, didn't we? Um, but chickens are still producing eggs, so yeah, it's it's not a problem. Uh, we are going to be delivering those when we hit full pallets of uh, of eggs uh we'll be delivering those let's close that and uh yeah time to get this lot transported down to our bakery uh we are making some good time and doing some uh some good stuff today uh i'm really hoping well, no, we've already surpassed what we need to get the drill, which is absolutely huge. Um, and it's going to be a direct drill as well, which is even better. Right, I don't want to miss my turning this time. So I'm going to turn down here. And then down here. And it's a, coming from our farm, it's a tight turn whichever way I come into the bakery. And look, we have today's bread delivery. So we need to go and do that. Let's open up this though and unload all this flour. So that's getting unloaded. And yeah, we've got a uh, one full thing of bread to go and deliver. We have, well, what is the status of our bakery here we've got uh so we're not quite full on flour uh we are full on strawberries we're not full on eggs uh we need sugar milk and butter uh in order to make cakes uh at the moment we're only making bread and uh yeah we are we are on the way to a second pallet i think we're basically producing a pallet of bread a day from here which is which is fine uh, let's get this loaded up. Now, as somebody said, we basically have uh, employees down at the bakery filling up the pallet of bread into our truck for us to sell. So we, uh, we back that up and we get that loaded up. 
And that loads into the boxes in the back. Close that up. And then we'll go and sell this. I think it, we only have one place to sell bread. I, I think the farm shop is the only place. So let's have a look here. Uh, where is our bread? There's our bread. Uh, so yeah, farm shop is the only place. Uh, it is not horrible at the moment. Uh, 2,903. But as per... Uh, the rules we have, really, in my videos going forwards. Uh, looking to to be selling perishables pretty quickly. Um, within sort of a month. So, yeah. There's um, definitely have to go and take these up to the farm shop uh, as quickly as we can. Coming down to the farm shop. Let's bring this round and in, and then we can come over here and get this unloaded. In we come. Open it up. And away we go. And there we are. 2,901 on the bread. That's pretty much what we expected. The price we were, we were quoted. And we're up to 44,447 from that now. Uh, so, yeah, back down to the farm, I think. And I want to have a look at where we are, whether there's anything available on offer at the moment or whether we're actually done for the day on, uh, on this first day in February before we load stuff up again the second day. I think... We might need to, uh, yeah, we, we're going to definitely be getting more flour across the second day in February. We might, uh, well, um, we're definitely going to have a load of tomatoes to sell uh, second day as well. I don't think we're quite going to be there with the eggs, um, but uh, that should be okay. We're back to our farm once again. And yeah, we got a second thing of tomatoes out, and we've got uh, no extra. I don't know if that's sitting in the way. That might, yeah, that's sitting across two spaces. So expecting the flour to go as well. Uh, let's have a look quickly. I'm kind of hoping that we might see in here. Oh, wow. That would have been useful a while ago. Uh, might see in here a cedar we can use. Um, we have got a fertilizer spreader, but we already have one of those uh, in the form of that. So that's not something we need. Uh, yeah, we just uh, need we need a cedar, and that's not going to be it. So yeah. We're pretty good. I don't think on here we're maxed out at all at the moment. Uh, barley flour. Plenty of barley still flowing through. Uh, not much flour in here at the moment. In fact, no, not even in a full thing. So uh, I don't know if a full one will arrive here. Um, what I am going to do, though, is get a little bit ahead. Make things a little bit easier for myself. And do that. The other thing I'm not quite sure what to do with at the moment is we have all these straw bales. We've missed this year's sell-off and we no longer really have a trailer that it's going to be easy for us to uh, to do that with and, uh, and get them transported. So I think they're probably going to sit here for a while uh, until we either have a use for them. Uh, for example, if we did some pigs or some cows... Uh, although I think it's more likely to be cows that we do. Um, or we get a flatbed that we're able to transport them with that was that was better than the other one. So uh, we'll see where we go with that. Um, but I'm just going to load up this flour. Get us ready for the next day. And uh, and then I think, yeah, we might move on and uh, and move to the next morning. So that we can get uh, the rest of this stuff transported and go and buy ourselves some new equipment. That is the flower all loaded up. 
and we're all good so we'll go put the tractor away because we've no use for that again today uh we will of course use it again pretty much immediately in the morning but i want to put all of our stuff away as we should and then we want to close up the back of this right and then reverse it up park it up because uh we're gonna be using it again in the morning for now though that is nice and full this is good we'll probably have to top this up with some water as well i think that'd be wise to get that done uh we've got two pallets of tomatoes and uh yeah another pallet on the way so that's all good let's move forward to the next morning second day of february and the snow has fallen we've suddenly got this covering of snow on the ground uh, however it hasn't stopped the production of tomatoes we've got three pallets of those out now uh we are part way are these 400 kilograms yes i'm oh, sorry 500 liters so 500 liters we currently have 202 liters in here so i think we'll get a fourth pallet of these out today uh that will uh that will be great um as far as our windmill is concerned uh we have uh yeah we've got some stored flour and the last of the barley is still working its way through which is great and so yeah we need to get this loaded up so let's start up our truck open the doors get the last of this flour loaded up and head down to the bakery we may have a second run of bread to do today as well so this is very much all about getting this stuff done uh where are we with the shop what's on offer oh wow oh wow uh john deere t560 combine uh no header for it headers for everything else um but uh yeah that is a weird set of uh a weird combination of stuff available in the sales today none of it's useful to us at the moment we're currently still hiring combines uh we're not making enough money to actually buy one at the moment oh the trouble with snow is it makes loading all of this up so much harder really does all right there we go load the rest of this in and then we can head down to our uh to our bakery and get the probably uh the load of breads that we've got for today done as well our last pallet of flour and that is then emptied the windmill for now. We do still have more coming, um, but we have got a nearly full trailer on here. So that is all good. Perfect. Right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's just park the tractor over here because, yeah, we need to get those tomatoes loaded up later. So we'll just leave that off to the side close this up and yeah we're doing a lot of driving about today let's head down to the bakery and see uh, what's going on down there so we're back down at the bakery and i'm yeah this is with the amount of transporting we've been doing in the last uh last couple of videos this boxer is just making a massive difference to us we actually did have 7,000 litres in there. I'm hoping it's all going to go in because that would be a problem. Let's see. We have oh, we have plenty of space for the flour in here. We'll, we'll get all the flour we've currently got going through the uh, windmill. That will come into here. Um, yeah, we've not got another thing of bread for today. We are producing basically a pallet of bread per day so that is unsurprising let's back this up then and uh and one of our employees at the bakery can fill it up like so and then i'm going to take the scenic route today 
over to the farm shop. We'll head out and uh, and down through town so that we can. Anybody coming? No, nope, we're clear. Uh, so that we can uh, go along the side of the river, which will be yeah, uh, really lovely in the snow. So looking at this, I'm thinking that yeah, once a month we probably want to be selling the. Oh, I missed the turning. We want to be selling the uh, bread uh, and selling the tomatoes and just keeping things running like that. We might do the same with the eggs. Let me know what you think on that. Uh, I but I I think getting a, at least once a month produce selling. Uh, is probably a good way to go uh, with perishable stuff. Let's back this up. So back up here with more bread. Make another 2,637 plus the 59 pound environmental score. Uh, that is really good. That is absolutely fantastic. So we want to head back down to the farm. Uh, we are at 46,000. I think it might be time to take a tractor down to the shop and well this is the thing i'm i know what's gonna happen i am going to go and buy a cedar today and uh we've got the money to do it and it's great and then the next game day what exactly what's gonna happen is that we're gonna get one on offer and um and it's just gonna be absolutely awful because we're gonna lose some money um buying a cedar that that we didn't need to buy so uh yeah i'm i'm really torn on it i mean new shiny stuff is always great but if there's a chance we can save a ton of money or get a better cedar than uh than we otherwise would get I really think that we're in a, in a position where we can wait. So, do we have our fourth? Speaking of which, yeah, I think we're going to be waiting a little while. How much do we have? Yeah, I think it's going to have to go a little later in the day. So, I'm going to turn off this. It would be really, really nice to get one at a discount. And I know if I don't go and buy it, we won't get one at a discount, but that's fine. Um, whereas if we do go and buy it, we're pretty much guaranteed to end up like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to fast forward a little bit, get us some extra tomatoes. And uh, we'll then go and load these four pallets up and uh, make a bit of extra cash. It's just ticked past four in the afternoon. The snow is all melted and oh we are yes yeah, so very close to uh another um pallet i think we've got tomatoes we must have set tomato yeah one liter where's our four ah there it is we were standing in the way so our fourth pallet has turned up let's uh let's get this loaded i was wondering why have i got only one liter of tomatoes in there where's it gone yeah, I was standing in the way, that's why. So, uh, we will get these loaded up and get these sold now as well. And, uh, yeah, might leave us with 50,000, which is really good. For us to be in that position on here at this point is, uh, is absolutely excellent. We are doing really well on this series in fact we've got two more pallets of flour but we'll uh, we'll worry about those next time uh we do need to get some more water into our greenhouse at some point what's the water level like just wondering let's have a quick look uh oh water's fine we did do that a little while ago i'm worried about uh water running out while we get into the whole uh set up but and uh, and get into spring and and start uh you know doing lots and lots of planting but i think we're going to be all right i don't think it's going to be an issue let's do that and yeah just load up these last three pallets 
final pallets to load up and get delivered. So in it goes. Place it down there like so. And we'll go and park our tractor up. We're not going to be transferring any more flour over today. Uh, we'll leave that for next time. We've got way more flour in our bakery now than, uh, than can be quickly converted into bread. So let's close up this. Uh, start the engine up. It does annoy me that you have to have the engine started up to do some of these things. And then we'll head down and get these sold. Again, I'm guessing it's the farm shop is the place where these have to go. So tomatoes. There we go. Uh, yep, into the farm shop. And price at the moment is a little bit down. Um, but uh, not horribly so. So we'll still get a decent amount for these 2,000 litres. Uh, should get at least 18, 000, uh, 1,800 pounds for them, which is, uh, which is great. And for our last time today, we're down to the farm shop and can get these sold. Uh, so it's been a, a fairly TLX heavy selling episode today. We're going to get back to doing some farming next time. That's all empty. Yeah, there we go. And the extra 43 takes us nearly up to 200 uh, to 2000, um, but not quite. Uh, so, yeah, we are in a really good position. We are only 2000 short of uh, 50,000, which is fantastic. Uh, and next time we're going to be getting into the seeding. We finally got enough money to buy a seeder and get some sunflowers in the ground so we are going to be doing that next time for now though all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye